Okay, welcome back for the final game of the NFL regular season. Let's take a look at the standings as we start off here. You see, I've already won the division. Miami looks very strong to go to the playoffs. The Jets, after completely shellacking me, <laughs> might go to the playoffs at 8-8. Eight eight. Uh, we're probably not. Houston has clinched the AFC Central as uh, Cincinnati uh, uh, had a crucial loss there, but they look like they're going to the playoffs there. And finally, over here in the West, Denver, with a lackluster 9-7 and seven record, has clinched the division. Although, uh, Sand, uh, Sand Dog and Seattle might be going to the playoffs. One of them will be. Yeah, well, it's going to be a toss-up between them and the Jets. Okay, next up. Uh, San Francisco actually took another loss, but like it hardly matters. 13-3, damn good record. Not as good as mine, I might add. Uh... New Orleans, 9-7. and seven. Um, Might have a playoff spot there. Minnesota, 10-5. and five. Number one, clinch the division. 8-8 uh, eight and eight for Detroit. We'll see if they can clinch the division or if they can get a wild card. Giants are your NFC Eastern Championship champions. Not championship, champions. Uh, no surprise there. Uh, Dallas and Washington look to have a good chance to get in the playoff spot. So the Rams, after a promising start, will not be going to the playoffs. Okay. So that's about it. I got my team all ready. So let's uh, jump into the final week of the regular season. Who do I? Who am I finishing off with? The Bengals. <laughs> okay. So I actually have a little bit of an effect on. Well, the Bengals are. Yeah, I don't think the Bengals, even if they lose this game, they're definitely going to the playoffs. But I still want to beat them. Although if I lose, I'm not all that pissed either. Because once again, I want the computer difficulty nice and easy for the playoffs. All right, that Jennings here. All right, they got one of these sort of goofy playbooks. They got a few. Well, they just got one trick play, really. But it's got a few different iterations to it. Could make things difficult. Ah, uh, they've got the old-fashioned draw play, which is a very stupid play. It doesn't work against the computers, uh, the computer, and if you're a human player against it. It shouldn't work against you either. All right, they got me with the flea flicker there. I wasn't happy about that one. I do it twice in a row. To James Icky Woods. All right, I gotta switch, guys. I'm gonna be one of the inside linebackers. Well, not for, not if they got one set back. The problem is the inside linebackers are awful on the uh, on the pats. They're pretty slow. Oh, Fumbolina, come on! There we go. Now it's time to see if they reduce the difficulty at all. Put Adams in because he's in excellent condition. And uh, we all know when uh, those guys are in excellent condition, that's when you want them in the game. A lot of people don't bother to look through it, but, I mean, it really makes a big difference. Because your starters aren't always your best players. I mean, and especially in this case, when you got somebody who's in bad condition or in excellent condition, I mean, that makes a huge difference. Okay. The computer is not really significantly reduced in difficulty there. Or they have, but they haven't exactly become the pushovers of old. Good enough that I didn't get a first down out of that. Yeah, Wilson's doing a lot of frickin' rushing there. Over to Senator Adams. Oh, cool. I got Martin open. Martin with the catch. Ho oh, ho. I didn't expect that to happen. Oh, Martin makes a touchdown. Good job, Sammy Martin. Well, we got a lot of interesting uh, teams going to the playoffs here. And uh, one thing I'm happy about is at least from what I can see, there's no way, there's no way that the Bills are going to the playoffs. Which is good, because I don't want to play the Bills. 
But I think maybe even more unfortunately, the Oilers are going to the playoffs. And they well they probably got the other bye, so I'm hoping they lose to somebody. I shouldn't have been him. And now I'm gonna pay for it. Damn Brooks. Okay. They don't give me the pass, but they tear me up with a run. Okay. Oh. I probably shouldn't have done that dive tackle. Icky Woods. James Icky Woods right there. I'm sure he's doing the Icky Shuffle at this time. So, yeah. Tie game. So maybe I won't win this one. I have to see. It's very hard to hold a team when you got a defense like the, uh... <laughs> like the Pats. Oh, crap. Called my play. And it's not going to be one of those lucky ones where I get a first down even though I called my play. That was... Yeah! If I'd have done a little bit more moving and a little less yang, I would have got the first down on that one. I'm not going to risk the deep pass to Seavers or to Marv Cook there. Because it doesn't often connect, only like 25% of the time. And I'd rather, I'd rather take a sure thing on a first down there. Over the middle. Come on. Jeez, I thought he was in excellent shape there. Actually, I think it was Allen, not, uh, not the other guy. There's Adams. Way to go. Way to not fumble, too. Appreciate that. Woo! Catch it? No, that's okay. Let's see. I mean, you, you're greedy if you're asking for a, a good complete pass on a called play. If you get a catch, or if you get an incomplete pass, you made out all right. Because generally... The only hope is an interception on that one. There we go. Catch it, Martin. Thank you. Marching down the field slowly but surely. That's I'm not even sure I want to win this one. No, nope. okay. Throws off a tackler. Good job, Mark. Boom! Martin. I forgot his first name. Sammy. Big Sam. Yeah, very good. 14 to 7. That back formation. Ah, Boomer's going to throw. Oh. It's, game's not cheating so hardcore for Boomer that time around. Oh, yeah. Okay. I got your number now. I hate using those inside linebackers because they're tend not to be very good. Oh shit, I got 17 seconds to come up with something, man. And that ain't gonna be it. Or is it? No, it's not. But, makes Mark Wilson's stats look better, so I guess it's good. So anyway, yeah, looks like I'll be able to pull this game out here. I'm not sure how desirable that is. Because it doesn't seem to me that the computer has completely reset its difficulty down to zero again. Oh, wow, Jim Breach. Not screwing around there. Kicks it full time. Barely escape a safety. Okay, I gotta get the hell out of the end zone now.
pretty nerve wracking. Ha ha ha! Why didn't you catch it? <laughs> that would have been a that would have been a game saver right there. Okay. Ah, very nice. Mark Wilson gives me a little freaking breathing room there. Wow, they really think I'm gonna do that play a lot, or at least when I do do it, they got it. They got my number. Decent time in the pocket. Adam, oh jeez, I thought it was gonna be a slash back, and uh, but I was not able to. Ooh, that was close. Eh, well, I'm not taking any risks. You can have the ball, Daddy. I'm not too. I'm not too manly to punt. All right, let's see if I can hold Boomer and company back. All right, so I got two setbacks. I'm being middle linebacker here, inside linebacker. Ah. Nabbed the wrong guy. Got to watch the behavior of the quarterback there more closely. Okay, in this case, I can be Andre Tippett, who's, I think, my best defensive bet. But it rhymes, too. Anyway. All right, inside linebacker land. Ooh, yeah. Wow, Ryan LePet all the way from the cornerback got in there to to maul the quarterback. Very nice. So you got to punt it back to me. Don't fumble there, Irving Fryer. <laughs> you like that? And there's no way in hell I'm gonna be able to stop them. Okay. That really, that was pretty funny. So the game is still heavily in favor of the computer. So I might have to finish with a 13 and 3 record because I don't think they're gonna let me get away with uh, winning. I don't think I, I don't think they enjoyed what I've been doing. So I might just have to lose this one too. I guess that's okay. But I mean, you, I mean, if you fumble, if you fumble on a punt return, you are so screwed. Because they got a million guys there, and you have no guys there. Oh, jeez. thought Stephens was going to break there, but he didn't. Still up. I said I almost prefer to lose this one. <laughs> I've never actually tried to lose a game in this before. I don't know exactly how easy or how hard that is to do. Ah, oh, Irving Fryer's wide open. Come on, Mark, make sure you hit him. Oh, he did. Well, whatever. I'm not losing. I just, uh, I said I'd take it straight through, so I don't want to disappoint you fans at home by getting knocked out in the, uh, divisional playoffs. That would, that would be kind of shitty, because it would be kind of anticlimactic end of this, uh, Cinderella season. I mean, this is a way Cinderella season. I mean, this is disgusting, actually. This definitely should not happen. Yeah. I'm going to make my choice there, huh? Tippet. Oof. And he tippets that ball. Ha, ha, ha. I'm sure it's never been said. Anyway. This is the one play I have a hard time stopping with the inside linebacker there. Especially because that guy's got a rocket up his rear end. I'm mean, going to have everybody running like... Bo frickin' Jackson in this game. Eddie Brown. Oh, I thought he was gonna go long there.
Now, of course, that really couldn't have happened because it was out of bounds, but, you know, whatever. Animations are animations. Icky. Icky, you are not getting in there. You will not be doing the icky shuffle there. Well, you might be. I don't know. Well, not with this play. Uh, especially not in that stinky draw. Forget about it. I'm not going to allow that to happen. Are you going to do a draw again? Oh, thanks for the ball. So I'm not losing this game, thankfully. But then again, not really thankfully, because, like I said, it's just going to make the playoffs harder. I hate how your guys don't even block. They just kind of stand there like, uh. I guess quarterback's going to scramble. Oh, now you want to cover him? Well, fine. I'll just go to Marv Cook. Who has the uh, bragging point of being very often open. Ah, I should have wanted to McMurtry on that one. Haha, I got out of bounds. It's funny, when you get out of bounds, like everybody's trying to dive tackle you, and it's usually terrible. Oh crap. I wanted to Ah I wanna kick a field goal. Well this is the last game of the regular season, folks. So yeah. See Mark Wills is my leading rusher because they wouldn't let what's his name move. And we're going into the playoffs with a win here, which I don't know how smart that is. Probably not that smart. But anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me and let's go ahead and run the rest of the game, sir, so we can see a little recap of uh, and see all the divisions here as we get ready to go into the playoffs. So here we go. That was like a song. Miami's in. I'm in. Obviously, I'm in. Jets aren't in. Thank God. Houston's in. I don't want to play him. Since he's in. Wow. Denver and the Raiders, but no San Diego. San Diego, man, they were leading the division. Dallas and Washington are in there. Okay. Minnesota. Bears had a shitty season. And New Orleans Saints and San Fran. Wow. This will be some interesting playoffs right here. I'm top seed, so I'll get the winner of the Broncos and the Raiders. Hopefully the Broncos win. <laughs> the Giants and the Niners. Get their seed. Or get their top, get the top season in the NFC. So anyway, there you have it. So just uh, all right, we already saw a stand. Let's see who is the best team on offense. No surprise there, it's the Niners. And you can see how it rounds out. And then where the hell I'm way down there, I'm sure, because I haven't been able to run the ball. No, I'm number twelve. That's not too bad. My rush is awful because the computer won't let me rush the ball. Browns the lowest total. Chargers, wow, surprise. The pass it should be kind of up there, actually, at number six, yeah. And then the rush. And yeah, no surprise, the Bills are up top. I'm probably almost dead last, yep. Yeah. Defensively, I was number one in the defense. You see how it rounds out right here. Browns, of course, they stink. Uh... Uh, Lions were last in defense, probably why they didn't make the playoffs. Yeah, when well, you got most of your bad teams, that had bad defense. Number one pass offense, wow. Or pass defense. It was us, followed by the Raiders, huh? All the way down to the Falcons. And then your, uh. Then your rush. Best rush defense, Bears. And then I'm probably pretty far. Yeah, I'm number 14. So anyway, there you go. See so who's the best rated passer. Montana Grogan, number 3. Even though he hasn't played forever. Best receiver in the league, Jerry Rice. That's no surprise right there. Rushing. Anderson Sanders. Wow, Anderson was number 1. Jackson. Punting. Hanson. Hey, that's my guy, huh? I had to punt six times, so that was pretty good. Uh, Jerry Rice, leading scorer in the league there. 
factor. I got I got the most extra points. Yep, one over Kofer. And then wait, field goals. Ah, got beat out there. That's okay. Still did pretty well. Sacks. I'm up here, but not number one. Yeah, I'm one behind Singleton. And then if we go down one, I think we can find our man Harvey. And then where's Tippett? I thought Tippett was on there. Is he down there a little further, or did I just miss him? Huh. I guess Tippett wasn't as good as we thought. Damn. Interceptions, no surprise here. Waymer, Mayhew, Atkins. Joey Browner. So yeah, all the pretty much the good guys you'd think of. Kickoff returns. Carter Walker. Yeah, hey, Neon Dion's not on the list, huh? Hmm. And punt returners. Andre Rising, huh? I thought they'd be using Sanders for that. Anyway, so there you go. That is uh that's the long and short of the season there, guys. We'll join you next time for the playoffs. Take care.